Uh, what we want to do is to uh, remove the ovaries of this animal and that procedure is called the ovariectomy okay that's the removal of the ovary so the first thing we need to do of course after your anesthesia okay you use your anesthetic agent uh, ketamine and xylazine like of course to make sure that the animal is fully relaxed okay and then you place the animal on dosal recumbency that's to make sure that the back of the animal is placed on your surgical table all right so the next thing to do is to uh, use a soapy water to wet the fur over the ventral abdominal region okay then just make sure it is wet using soapy water okay by so doing it will be easier to do your shaving okay so lift it up a bit so we can shave okay okay so after making your after uh, doing your shaving the next thing to do is to make a an incision okay just a single incision a straight line okay on the abdominal region just at the center okay so let's make the our incision now now while making the incision you need to be very careful because if you are not too careful you can cut into the you can cut some structures inside the abdominal region okay so you just need to be careful with your cutting all right you can take make sure that your equipment are ready okay and this is it okay cut of course of course before you start up you must make sure your equipment are sterilized okay now this is our incision has been made so the next thing to do here is to uh, locate the ovaries we need to locate the ovaries okay it's not really an easy thing but if um, you have been able to study it and know the anatomical position of the ovaries it will actually make it easier to locate okay so i would um, turn the animal this way okay lift it and then look for the ovaries okay look for the ovaries okay now this is the uterine tube okay the left uterine tube okay and then this is the ovary so i take it out okay severing the fats the fats okay so holding this um, the left uterine tube together with the fallopian tube and the ovaries this is the ovary the ovary is here embedded in fat okay and then i can locate the other side okay this is the other side that is the right side okay so these are the two horns of the uterus okay this is the the left horn while this is the right horn of the uterus which is the ovary so we're interested in the ovary actually not the uterine horn so uh, like i said the procedure what we want to do is to remove just the ovaries okay these are the ovaries so we just uh, like it okay so let me get my suture material ready. That's a chromic uh, cut gut. <laughs> okay, so this is our suture material, the chromic cut gut. Okay, so we open up to get out uh, the suture material. Okay. Okay. Um, this is our chromic cut gut. Okay, it's ready for the surgery. Okay, I didn't tell you the size of the 
the card got okay this is the size it's two o all right size two or three point five metric is suitable for this kind of um surgery okay or procedure so we proceed to uh the next step of ligation or tying off of the ovaries okay here i will need help from someone okay i have an assistant with me here who would help me hold the ovary okay so hold this all right while i do a ligation do the tie enough all right it's not a very difficult procedure but you need to know what to do at time okay you tie a second time to be sure that um, it is totally sealed or tied off then you cut that's the ovary okay of course with fat okay the ovary embedded in fat so we'll do same with the second with the other side okay having done with this okay tied off the two sides and remove the ovaries okay this is the left left side and this is the right side okay so we now need to put back okay at exactly where it was collected from all right sorry for the noise in the background i just get the message the main point so the next step where we are now is to tie off okay to suture back first of all we suture the muscles okay this is abdominal muscles and then we suture the the skin okay so i will uh, show you how we start of course the suture starting up with the skin with the muscle sorry would do a simple continuous suture okay simple continuous suture Because before you start up this kind of surgery, you would have disinfected the, the whole place, your your table or bench. You make sure everywhere is disinfected. All right. So this is a simple continuous suture. Okay. So having done with the suture, the suture of the abdominal muscles, okay. Now we carry on with the suture of the skin. As you can see, the abdominal muscles are totally uh, sealed. You can't have access anymore into the abdominal cavity. So the next thing is to suture the skin covering that same area. So on this aspect what we do is a simple interrupted suture okay simple interrupted suture okay whereby we suture each part okay and we cut okay so and we suture again and cut okay Okay, we'll continue this way. Okay, so this is uh, 
the last part of it okay so while walking you need to walk fast before the animal wakes up so this is it this is it you see it is neatly tied okay and the animal would have to give it some more minutes to wake up it may take between 30 to 50 more minutes to wake up thank you for watching this um, short video remember this is dr fred academy and um, if you've not subscribed please do so and don't forget to um, share okay you can as well make sure you click on the notification bell icon to be notified whenever we post our videos thank you bye for now